grandkids make it today? No. So we do have three kids. Uh, Corey, Ashley, Callie. Um, grandchildren? Busy. <laughs> um, yeah, for those that don't know, my sister is Craig's second retirement. Um, he retired from the Air Force uh, out of Eglin back in August of 05. A little contract work uh, uh, after that retirement for him over here. Again, came on to USAFSOS uh, October of 2007 uh, as a contractor, and then in October of 2010, switched over uh, as a GS to do the work and support uh, here ever since. Um, not only does that show the time, but if you think about technology and where we've gone from 2007 to 2023, um, I mean, it's, it's like Tom Cruise law or something, you know, every, every two to three years, the size of technology doubles, but the actual physical size shrinks. And so since 2000, you know, every couple of years, technology updates. I mean, I think we had, did we have HD back in 2007? I mean, it was, it was color, it wasn't black and white, but, <laughs> I think, you know. Well, those used to be a very expensive black and white. I, I thought you were going to tell me it was like one of those old school ones. Yeah, <laughs> 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 students, uh, over 20 different wings across the Air Force have come through here. Um, numerous self-help projects. Um, let's see here. Uh, for those that walk through the foyer, uh, I know we've recently kind of redone the foyer and how it looks, but the video that is showed up there, the TVs that are wired up there and how it links back, Craig installed that. Craig designed that. Craig put that in. Uh, and for many AFSOC students, uh, and for many Air Commandos, for Lieutenant Pasco, you, you know, the, the Lieutenant Pasco of the world that come to AFSOC, they come here, that's one of the first things that they see is that video screen. And I see them all the time standing out there watching that go through and just seeing the history of AFSOC as it's played on the screen. We're part of that. We all put that in. Um, let's see here. Uh, Designed a wire uh, audiovisual intercom system still used today that allows uh, instructors to communicate with the AV back and forth. Uh, so we're not having to run back and forth and, uh, and do that. Um, manage a $600,000 equipment account. Um, I realize I'm going to have to sign for that here <laughs> shortly, but like, that's not stuff, you know, it, it's not stuff that I want to have to do, but I think there's also like, that's a lot of money, like, that's a lot of equipment. And it's not just being responsible for it, but it's, as I said, you know, upgrading it. It's going, this technology's out of date. I need to do more, you know, budgeting it, getting it fixed, keeping it up and running. Not just because we're seeing it, but it's making sure it's continually ready to work when we need it. We need it every week. Um, let's see, you're part of the uh, 2016 uh, at SOAC uh, Squadron of the Year um, and uh, numerous Air Force Organizational Excellence Awards. Um, served under nine commandants uh, here at East Um What else did I see? Was it at Soxie? 
was it before just you sat for it? Bob still plays that every year. 